Now we're going to put in the air vents in the side, so you'll see that it's got a couple of clips on it, and uh, they just pop in like that. Too easy. Do the same, and we've got those. And the last thing we want to do is put in some filaments. Now we have to mount the filaments in place, and then we actually have to power up the device and uh, heat up the extruders so that we can actually put the filaments in through the extruders. So let's do that. Now they've nicely uh, wrapped this filament up. We need to remove that, any extra material. And you should see that the filament itself is uh, through those holes on the side. So we can pull that out. Uh, we will have to cut that off later. I'm just un undoing one of those so it doesn't unravel. And uh, we want to make sure that it goes in the correct way. So we want it to, when it goes in, it should be rolling forwards towards us, downwards, forwards, um, and the filament coming up at the back. And so that's the way we want it. If you do it that way, it's not going to work so well. Um, the filament's going to have to bend tightly before it goes up the tube. So once you've got a filament ready to go in, we also need one of the pins. And then we put those in place. Put the pin in the filament roll and make sure that lines up with the mounting bracket at the back. And we just turn that around till it slots in. And when it's slotted in place, we turn it in an anti-clockwise fashion. And that locks in place. Okay, so let's go for the second filament. Do the same thing, cut that open. Take out the rubbish. And unwrap. Now this one isn't secured in place, so uh, just be careful. And we're gonna just roll that round. And there is a hole on this one, so I'll just push it through one of those just to hold it there temporarily. Now, making sure, same thing, that when it is running and extruding, the filament should be coming up from the back. So that's the way we want to put it in to the machine. And you'll need the second pin. Okay, so put the pin in the filament roll, move that into position, locate the pin in the bracket, turn it around, until it pushes in nicely and when it's in there we can turn it in the anti-clockwise direction and that locks it in place.